Hey, and welcome back to Chems Code Gems. In this episode, we'll be discussing forms that take a little bit longer to submit. In many cases, you'll have API calls or pipes that are being called at the time of form submission. And what we want to do is display a loading GIF during the time that it takes for the form to submit. So here's our form. The record rule is running this custom JavaScript. And basically for this demonstration, all I'm doing is having it wait for um, five seconds and then submit. So this will mimic an API call that takes a few more seconds extra. So instead of just, uh, so when I click save, what I want to happen is this create record, um, creating record notification with a, a GIF or an animation, a CSS animation to display to the user until it's submitted and um, it will go away. This will work on a single page or if you redirect to a uh, details page. Now, I will be discussing a form where it does not redirect to a, another details page, um, but this will work the same way. So let's hop into the code. So first we have our CSS here. Now this CSS I got from a website called loading.io. Um, in the libraries, they have pure CSS loaders and it's very easy to uh, just copy and paste the uh, CSS here and the HTML. Um, in this case, I'm using the basic example, this spinning thing. Um, as you see, I changed the color uh, and that was it. And the CSS I pasted into here, the HTML. I paste it into an HTML component. And as you can see, I changed the text as well here. So I added the full screen loader, the loading container, the ring from the CSS loader, and you can pick any, um, they have tons of options here. You might want it uh, to look like this. Just one thing to note is um, when it's multi, when a CSS loader requires multiple divs, uh, just make sure to add, um, this so for every div that they have here make sure you add a starting and closing div um, and add a uh, the code for an empty space here so that the html component doesn't remove the um, what it thinks is unnecessary div um, so just in this case what you would want to do is, is create um, an opening div with the, for every single one of these closing tags, you want to make sure you have an opening one and the, uh, blank space here. Um, you can change the text to whatever you would like. And then in the JavaScript and let me open code editor so we can see this better. Um, Here's the function for starting the loader. First, we find the uh, element by the ID, the HTML element. Um, here's a function for stopping it and starting it. Um, the submit rule confirmation ID. Actually, this is important to go over. Um, what I'll do in the form submit rules when it's a single page, and this is only necessary if you're not redirecting to uh, the details page. So if you're submitting a an invoice and uh, you're generating an invoice, you're importing records using the import record pipe or something similar, and then you're redirecting to the details page of that record, you do not need to do this. But if you want the loader to stop and the forms on a single page and you're not redirecting, uh, what you need to do is edit the source code of the submit rule, show a confirmation, show a confirmation message, and add an ID um, to the um, source code. So as you see here, I have an ID of form submitted, record successfully created, and I'll auto hide this notification so that when if there, you're submitting more than one record, the loader will will be displayed again um, for the next submission. Um, now. Finally is the JavaScript. Remember, you need to get the component ID for the form. And then in the JavaScript, uh, just replace that here. So component ID will be right here. Um, and then 
we have a variable to check if the form has finished and we basically pull the uh, DOM to make sure um, every um, 100 milliseconds we check to see if the form has uh, if, if this ID that we just form submitted that we um, that I showed you just before in the in the submit rule um, we see if that exists if it exists the form finished submitting otherwise um, it hasn't and we'll keep on checking until it exists and we'll stop the loader and set form finish to false uh, so that we can do this again um, now any you can run any code here after you want after the form finish submits this is a an extra thing that you can do um, if you wanted to uh, show an alert instead of that as well uh, or something you know um, and then finally we have the uh, render component ID uh, so that when we hit when when someone clicks on submit we run this whole thing so again when we hit save it will run it it will check to see if it finished submitting once it's finished submitting, it will hide the loader, and there we go. Um, and just to demonstrate, when um, if we direct to the details page of the, the record that's submitted, um, we technically don't need to stop the loader at all. We actually technically don't. Uh, we All we need to do is start the loader. We can remove all of this. Um, and because redirecting to the page will automatically stop the loader. So if I refresh this page, you'll see we'll hit save. It says creating the record. And as soon as the form is submitted, it will redirect to the details page. And there we go. I mean, it's an empty record, but here we are.